My hail and hearty greetings to everyone gathered here. Myself, our Prince Shiva, standing before you all to give a presentation on a pricky technical one. At once I say technical, please don't try to take a nap. Stay awake, you exert, because this is something very indispensable. The electronic waste management. The electronics industry is the world's fastest and the largest growing manufacturing industry. In recent times, people have accoladed the habit of frequently replacing the electronic gadgets. But the disposal is becoming a threat and this may end up leading to e-waste, which not only creates ecological problems but also affects the human by means of air, water and soil pollution. Since liberalization, privatization and globalization have invaded the industrial scenario, it has led to an influx of MNCs. Here is a survey across the globe that the cell phones are being replaced every 9 months, the laptops every 16 months, the computers and so on. It has been estimated that in 2020, each individual will proffer of about 178 kgs of e-waste, which is something probably more than thrice my physical weight. In this presentation, we will be dealing about two designs. The first one is a design for dump. In 1960, Gordon Moore stated that an electronic designer can double the processor speed every 18 months. But the present day bosses have got all twisted up and transform the Moore's law into Moore's law where they can double, triple and even quadruple the sales making the electronics hard to upgrade and impractical to repair. The developed countries like US and UK throws away of about 400 millions of e-scrap every year. Where do they throw? Sorry, it's not just throwing in a decent texture, it's exporting, yes. The developed countries export the e-waste to developing countries like India and China because the recycling cost is very low here. Let me explain you how. We have the top two e-waste recycling machineries. The first one is the LVIS and the second one is the metal sock. These two devices use ultra high resolution color camera system which can extract even the last traces of metal contaminants. Wow, what an amazing fact, isn't it? No, definitely not, because not even a single corporate or municipal site in India avail these missions. Okay, then how are these e-scraps dismantled? In states like Maharashtra and Orissa, we have people and small children involved in dismantling e-waste. They just smash open the gadgets with tongs and recover the valuable materials with bare hands and they burn the plastic and vulnerable contents. As we all know, the electronic and the electronic products contains a lot of toxins and we all still use it. Here we will be seeing a small table about the various hazardous constituents of the e-waste. Ok fine, set aside these stuffs. Have you ever thought of the hazards caused by a small SIM card? Everyone will be using a SIM card. The SIM cards we use are made up of polyvinyl chloride, shortly the PVC, which when burnt stimulates the human carcinogens causing cancer. Similarly, the batteries, the pen drives, the adapters we throw leads to a drastic eco-pollution. The same world with zero illiteracy rate, zero poverty rate, zero discrimination rate and even with size zero heroines do not have a single country with zero e-waste. So here we propose a mission and a beyond. Swatch Hindustan say electronic becker which should constitute strict rules and regulations which bans the illegal import of e-waste to India. We all have heard about the Love Canal tragedy. Excuse me friends, it's not your love failure tragedy, it's the love canal tragedy, New York. This place received global attention for ensuing problematic health development because of the explosion of 22,000 barrels of toxic waste. This proves even landfilling is dangerous. Oof, then what else is the solution? Is quitting electronics a solution? 
Is anyone ready for that? Keep thinking. Now, we'll move on to the second session, the design to last. To build an electronic industry, to design to last, is to design to thrive humanity. Actually, this is not just a presentation prepared by me overnight. It is about seven months of my surveillance scope. Perhaps electronics was a blissful. I love to study about electronics and that's why I took EC. Last year, I attended a college, a college symposium which intended me to think of my love, my electronics, in a different perspective. In that symposium, the guest lecture was on the youth, the culprits of e-waste. And it's because of us, the people in Maharashtra are suffering from brain tumor. This really worried me a lot. How can we be blamed for this? And what is the role we play in this scenario? I was not clear about it. So I started browsing about this. I started talking about this with my friends. And I don't remember at what point I started this analysis, but this went on. As quoted by Socrates, beware the barrenness of a busy life. Please spare some time and think over it, friends. And finally, I understood the reality. Let's imagine. Uh, and that's the reality too. We have the marketers. They advertise their e-gadgets. We get attracted to it. We buy it. We use it. When it is of no longer use, we trash it. After trashing it, I move on to a new one. Let me come again. After trashing my old one, I enjoy my new gadget. But my old one is off to poison for our families. This is something very horrible. So what next? We all would have heard about the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle from our school days. And we all are well versed with it, so no need to explain about that. And what is this fourth R that I would like to introduce is re-envisioning. Re-envisioning means creating an awareness. To be more precise, it's like kindling a fire inside the electronic lovers. As stated by Herzberger, the poverty line is no longer measured in terms of money, but in terms of information. So passing on this information is very important. Next, we'll see about the actual process of e-waste management. First, we have to collect and gather all the e-waste to one particular place. And then it is sorted according to its product logistics or brand. Under the Environmental Protection Act 1970, the sorted waste has to be transported to its original manufacturers. Then, dismantling and recycling should be carried out in high-tech machineries only. Now, we all have got a clear outline about what is e-waste, how it is being dismantled in India, what $10 is hazards, and how it should be actually processed. I have a set of requests for the youth present here. The youth can get into research where he can enrich green computing. Like uh, instead of using lead, which is toxic, we can use it bismuth, which is less toxic. And whatever may be the toxic element, when mixed with copper, its toxic property is reduced. In India, most of the people do not know how to discard the e-waste and they store it at their households. In this case, the youth can introduce the use of e-waste bins. The youth can play the active role of a change agent where they can mitigate the people to come out with new thoughts and ideas by conducting rallies and campaigns. I proudly stand before you all to represent my council, the Electronic Waste Management Council, and the 17 members in my locality. We have professionalists and graduates to assist us to gather the e-waste from a nearby households. With the help of some NGOs, under the scheme, you made it, you deal with it, we return back the scraps to the original manufacturers. I invite you all to join with us in our council to enrich green computing. India has about 356 million youth, which tops the youth population in the world. If these youth are properly educated with an effective e-waste management, then India will surely march towards the pinnacle of excellence. The youth should carve out an exclusive awareness that strikes the visionary balance of the precepts and the praxis of a sustainable living. It is the only earth we have got and let's work together to 
save it. Thank you, friends, for sparing a valuable time with me. And thank you, ICPI, for giving me this golden opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Shiba. Thank you, sir. You can, let's, let's hear some couple of questions to you. Shiba, uh, wonderful presentation. Just wanted to check with you. Did you come across any recyclable product, electronic product? Sir? Any recyclable electronic product? Any recyclable electronic product? A product which has been discarded and recycled. Did you come across any recyclable product, electronic product? Yes, sir. In many places that uh, plastic can be recycled in where we have the Swachh Bharat machine. It's already in exist. So when we uh, uh, put a plastic inside it, it will be recycling in itself. Like about... Which is also in use? Yes, sir. It is in use. Yeah, I have a related question actually. So, as an end user customer of smartphones perhaps, yes, what's the message that you have to all of us assembled here? Yes, sir. Not from the manufacturing viewpoint, but from the consuming viewpoint. Yes, sir. How because can I be aware and what can I do? Yes, sir. As uh, the youth, they are next going to be the electronic consumer as well as the manufacturer, they have to keep in some thought even about the environment. Like in earlier days, as I stated in my day, uh, presentation, it was the Moose law which can, uh, re which can, we can double up the speed of the processor every 18 months only. But just for the sake of the sales, it has been uh, uh, overdue. Uh, very frequently. So, when we sit and work at one electronic gadget for about 18 months, we will take care of its wearability and reliability so that it lasts long, so that uh, we can manage the waste. So, one last question. Apple versus Android, which one do you think is more green, eco-friendly? Eco-friendly is… Uh, Have you done any research on that? No, sir. Okay. It's maybe Apple. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one of the wonderful ways to impress audience is using right amount of data. You use it very rightly. Uh, good amount of data to convince the audience why it is important to uh, focus on reducing e-waste. Wonderfully done. Thank you, sir. Good.